Welcome to Dynamic Foundry Group small video section. Today we are going to see a small video on basic getting calculations. Go in the pattern shop and during the development talk about various terms like down screw, choke area, pressurized getting system, non-pressurized getting system, turbulence in get area, etc. Here in this video, we are going to see these terms and its calculation in a very simple and basic way. Intention of this video is that everyone who watches this video will go back to pattern shop and calculate the basic areas of getting system on his own. Let us learn how to calculate these three basic getting calculations in today's video. Number one, down screw area. Number two, runner bar area. Number three, choke area. In this picture, you can see down screw or pouring basin, screw basin, runner bar area or runner bar, ingates, ingate extension, etc. for your ready reference. Let us start with the down screw area calculation. How to calculate down screw area? So down screw area is equal to 0.7854 into square of diameter of down screw. I repeat, down screw area is equal to 0.7854 into square of diameter of down screw. Let us take an example here. If the diameter of our down screw is, point, is 30 mm, then the volume of down screw is 0.7854 into 30 into 30, that is 706.86 mm square. I repeat, the volume of down screw is 0.7854 into 30 into 30, that is diameter, square of the diameter of down screw is equal to 706.86 mm square. Let us take another example where the diameter of down screw is 35 mm, the down screw area will be 0.7854 into 35 into 35, that is 962.115 square mm. So this way you can calculate down screw area. Now we go to understand how to calculate runner bar area. So to calculate runner bar area, the formula is bottom width of runner bar plus top width of runner bar divided by two into height of runner bar. I repeat, runner bar area is equal to bottom width of runner bar plus top width of runner bar divided by two into height of runner bar. You can see in this picture, bottom runner is 40 mm, whereas top runner is 30 mm. Height of runner bar is 40 mm. So the runner bar area is 40 plus 30 divided by 2 into 40. So it is 35 into 40, that is 1400 mm square. So the runner bar area is calculated by averaging the runner bar width and then multiplying it with the runner bar height. Let us take another example where the top runner is 30 mm, bottom runner is 40 mm, height of runner bar is 25 mm. So the runner bar area is 30 plus 40 divided by 2 into 25, that is 875 mm square. Now we go to our last calculation, that is ingate area. How to calculate ingate area? The formula is very simple. Ingate area is equal to ingate width into ingate height. Ingate area is equal to ingate width into ingate height. Let us take an example here. We have an ingate of 25 mm in width and 10 mm in height. So the area of single ingate is 25 into 10, that is 250 mm square, mm square for one ingate. If we have such four ingates in our system, then total ingate area will be 240, 250 into four, that is 1000 mm square for the total system. Considering there are four ingates, each of 250 mm square. So the total ingate area in the system will be 1000 mm square. Let us take an another example where ingate width is 22 mm, while height of the ingate is 6 mm. And there are again such four ingates in the total ingate system. So the total ingate area will be 22 into 6 into 4, 
that is 528 square mm. So this way you can find or calculate single ingate area as well as total ingate area of the system. Once you can calculate these volumes or these areas, you can further go for identifying whether the system is pressurized or non-pressurized gated system. This we will clear or see in our next video. So till then, goodbye and take care.